Sunday. Well, I'm sorry, it's a Sunday. Oh, my goodness. I swear I thought today was Saturday. I fucking wish. Man. Alright, go to work tomorrow. I have two more days off. I gotta go to this interview tomorrow. Did he go past? I told you. Oh, shit. Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on I, I can't Sports. get no first rounds right now because they cost me too much. In the Indianapolis Colts. That's with that, let's get on up to Lucas Oil Stadium in that's Indianapolis. Right. Right, that's why I've been backing out of it. I've been making all my deals have been for next year's uh, draft. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in the big contract that game not yet. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name Vic. it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between our visitors and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Oh Charles yeah, that's a max contract coming. Play. They already have as many wins in the second mm. half as they did in the first half, and we're just starting the second half at number zero. And I know some of their fans are already starting to look forward to the draft, but I still think this team has a chance to win some games down the stretch. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they're halfway home, looking good at a perfect 8 0. And not much to complain about so far, is there? I'd have to say they're the best team in the NFL so for the far first half of the year. Ready to get us started, the Aussie punter and kickoff man, Michael Dixon. And in front of a raucous crowd, this one is underway. This is feeling a couple yards deep. Right. Mm. Get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23 yard line. Damn, how the fuck did he get hurt? Here, we've got an injured oh, player down there. Well, he gets attended to. <laughs> My third for uh, safety. I wish they come back and bring back uh, when they used to bring out the uh, medical truck on the fifth. Jones, nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. They need to bring that shit back. A yard on the game's first play at second down. Bro, the you're fucking kidding me. Jones. Damn, broken Last collarbone. Week, Fuck. 16 carries, 55 uh, yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got I don't know, bro. Because when he got hurt, my second string, uh, free safety. Because he did the kickoff, and he was pointing at his leg. And then they took him off the field. He was holding his wrist. And now they talk about broken collarbone. Like, damn. That's the dude that happened to me with rugs. They, he was holding his back like his back spasms, and the motherfucker got a broken collarbone. Hey, yeah, man, we gotta fix that. First down carry by Jones. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally. And open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Go get the ball. That goes Harris? for a gain of 31. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a any usernames besides talking uh, easy? Run on first uh, down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over the game. So what do you do? Well, you think you have Easy to trying sure to play right now. Him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, Daddy plays who? 
Oh. Oh, oh yeah, let's get that game in too. Throwing his car on third down. I can do it home. He sacked oh, back around yeah. the 28. Miles Garrett in there to get him sack oh, number 14 for him on the year. He should be on the way, though. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? He said out. Uh, they're just looking really poor, us, aren't they? Jared. They really are, and I'm wondering if they have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back. He out here, right? Assist because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit huh? a lot. In the he out here? Games. So the opening yeah, drive yeah. does yield points, yeah, maybe not yeah, the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs uh, does not go on the scoreboard. Oh, but it does okay. go into the DNA of a team. Well, he's he's closer to, to the water. To start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first yeah. downs that and three effect. points. Damn, Mr. Barkley. First carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Yeah, Defensively, you know, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Oh, I forgot these motherfuckers got in and out. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down Cops. run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence. CJ, why are you following? And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Dark West Denard there defensively. Yeah, the offensive starters here for the Raiders. And they're coming off a good win on the road last week, but they do know that they have a home game next week. So all the focus has to be, can they get a second win on the road and make going away <coughs> sweeter? That's the intention in this ball game. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Finds his tight end Ingram. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Now from Colts territory, here's a Ooh, first and Brooks. 10 at the 44-yard line. Go, go. From the gun, Lawrence. And McKeel Harry. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each time. Nowhere to escape. Damn, he just ran through my ass. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately. Three times he's even defeated what the other teams. He doesn't care at this point. Oh, he's going to let this to third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. Now, they've been pretty much a mess against the pass number 31 in the league. Take those rankings, throw them right out the window. Because this is what you prepare for. This is what you practice for. This is what you think about. The ultimate test. Taking out the number one. But they're still stopped a yard or two short. And it's fourth down. Well, I think everything was impressive about that one, except they didn't get a first down. But I like their field position now after that play. Yeah, now you got a pretty makeable field goal oh, opportunity. Now Saquon Barkley. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Yeah. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. There we go, Paris. Let's go. Go. Pretty base. Operating from the gun, Lawrence eluding the pressure right, and that is caught. 
Touchdown, Raiders! A two-yard touchdown grab, and the Raiders have taken the lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every oh. touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. What are you playing? The kickoff man? unit is out on the field, and they will Thanks. send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they go. want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. On second down, it's Jones. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. There you go, and he's going to bring out the third down. To throw on third down. Mm. Carr, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Hey, Miles Garrett, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. It takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run with Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they don't have finish plays, too. I love it. Eyes up, head up, run right through. Barkley, able to push forward for about four down to the 37. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third manageable with that run. Now he's got his target. That's more. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that Let's sets go, up Paris. the first and goal. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes out for the football, competes for the besides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. The line of scrimmage, the seven now. Second and goal. Here's the second and seven. Rush coming oh, and he's taken down. Oh, tacky tacky gets him for a loss of switch up his result. Looking to throw Lawrence. And that's gonna be caught the for a catch here. touchdown. Nikhil Harry, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. Sirline connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the drive there took six plays, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. 
How is it a face mask if I hit him before? And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. The run on first down gets them a couple up to the 27. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Oh, we'll remind sorry. you, coming up at halftime, Damn, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here. Around hit from behind, and he's nice going to be driven down. Miles Garrett, what a season he How continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. Who the right Man, shit, bro. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll work his way forward up to the 22. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Here's Matt Bosher now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Hmm. This is taken at the 23. 12 yards on the return that time, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Now the Colts defensive unit trots back out there. And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. <laughs> I saw you take a running start at that blocking sled. You took it down. Bounced off like a rubber band. No, no, not at all, but you're exactly right. Man. Ready, ready. The Raider offense hey, set to get this drive started. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? Now Barkley stripped. Bro, they had never whip up Shaquan like that. Get out of here. Bro, they just ripped the ball out of his hands like it was nothing. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running Talking around. Talking about offensive snaps, man. Opportunistic by the defense. And the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeout. Is it done? Go get your basket and come get your stuff. This nigga Chubb's tired or something, bro? What the fuck? He fat. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, slow as shit, bro. Damn, that's disrespectful.
Good kick, Bagley. Good hit, Leon. like that the whole game. What, you fumbled or something? <coughs> you fumbled or something? Let's go, Verdell. Let's go, bro. We're going to get you a hundred by the end of the game. Let's go. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number Why is one. Why is Car to throw on third and one. And now the ball's out. Car lost it. Fumble. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. There's Matt Bosher now. As he's Never! on for Indianapolis. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. <sighs> the Raider offense set to get this drive started. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. There's so something that, you know, someone can see that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run right in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to our What's that? Go do. Okay. All right. Well, there they at. Where day they at? All right, Brandon. Thank you very much. Get these Four games in. We can do another. Let's take a spin All right. Let's the NFL and see what's going on let's go. here in week number ten. We'll begin with a good NFC battle at Lambeau, and just like that, on we head to half number two. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. This one taken from the seven. And always uh, sheds a uh, he's got some space. Let's go, Curtis. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. Now, that's the kind of return that warms the heart of a special teams coach. He'll be pushing us next time, Brandon, to make sure his guys are introduced in the starting lineups. These guys have such an influence on every Come on. game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Remember, they have their own meetings, their own practice time. Heck, their own. And he'll take Come it on. into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that. Time is and I don't want time. people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter. Hell yeah, it's Everyone's past saying the exact time. same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on oh, starting CJ. fast. Game the you know, second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Derek Carr, he is the focus. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half score. They were down at the half. Now, as 
you I mentioned, they're the down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. <laughs> Throwing on second down, Carr. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards. That's crazy how they take off for the comeback pass. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get an open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big this window. Bro, lucky you're they didn't a get him down. on a corner. Car you shouldn't be getting thrown around like and a fucking rag going to be incomplete. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver. And that will bring up second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Another it throw is. on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now, Carr again. The throw for Galladay is going to be intercepted. Let's go, Jalen. Have a great season. Let's fuck they it. take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You oh my god, this nigga Barkley is a dog. He's a fucking dog. And, counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. and ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Let's go. Stick the oar. Off the play fake, Lawrence. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. A big play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Zerline good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Bomb. The Colts now, Let's their go. offense works their way back onto the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coach. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Let's go. Another interception. Good job. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. They begin the drive with Hill. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. Let's go. Let's go. When you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. On second down, here's Barkley. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown! Saquon Barkley with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game as his guys continue to pour it on. <laughs> He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact what? number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They have been struggling. I would imagine at half time they get through some possible oh, sorry, changes. Slave well, we'll changes get up there. aren't working, so now where do you go? Let's go! Oh my god, the tips we've been getting. Tip drills are full of fat. It must be that ass because that ain't smoke first. 
definitely with some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the right, 35. Nothing will take your ass out. He got 200 yards in the second the quarter, third down. quarter. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Second and six. Got a man open. That's Harry. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually up to about three to four. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Curtis Samuel, his first touchdown on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And he's a little bit on the short <coughs> side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the... right yeah sometimes they get lost in the traffic but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed they use their quickness to find a way to get open well tall short wide skinny whatever there it results in a touchdown the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away that's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raider defense now. Here they are as they get ready to trot back onto the field. And the interception the last time, their third takeaway of the game. He's <coughs> blocking to the football so well. And not only are they doing that, they're making big-time plays and taking it away from them. Big hits, big plays. They're looking very good in this ball game. You said flocking, flying to the football. Coaches always use that, don't they? They really do. It's almost as it goes back to the old. the frame at the end of the play. They want to see all 11 defensive guys in that picture. Open man is Galladay complete. And chop that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Ooh, yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, Kyle works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. Really solid effort for him right now. Third quarter, already four touchdown passes. How many can he get here? That remains to be seen, but I know one thing. You and I will be here to watch. 
coach, and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> With what he's doing in this contest, <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not missing a minute of it. This guy's been spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's a team game, but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of come to the front, despite the fact, as you said, we know it's all about the team. But the way he's playing, he's trying to make his team win on his back. Yeah, it's been exciting. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the There you go, Dexter. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. There we go. There we go. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Good. Again, they run the hill. Now a play the from the umpire after Dude, a game about four. I don't know. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be holding. So on the big tight end, hold it. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without a hold. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Desmond Truffaut, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen has been pretty sensational. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically... And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. Miles Garrett in there for a milestone sack as that moves him past Hall of Famer Michael Strahan, who finished his career with 141 and a half. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Carr, and he's going to go down again. Kenny Clark in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback. Come on, no the situation. guys. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. And with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he sets up the screen to Jones. And that play went Why is this nowhere. Even Losing game? yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Huh? I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, you know, you gotta let him feel good, and man. smothered it. What a third okay. down stop okay. by them. <laughs> you gotta let him feel good, man. You can't First just be on this stuff. That nigga, good been, as well. that nigga been talking all day, bro. You gotta blow that nigga out. That'll be a 48 yard punt. Yeah, yard but you know, I think it's more crushing that he's almost there. You can't get past with a first and ten. No, bro. This is big look. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley and a short gate across the 15 and the 17 yard line. There's a nigga talking all day. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to be in the home these now. guys like right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. Yeah, same. Just just that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they had 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? I mean, they ran towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the back game. How was it not? never been their own offense. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Get it. Off play See, put that mean in there when he beat me. He's going to look watch, deep watch for more. Me. I'm for that that is in incomplete. <laughs> Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. 
Fourth quarter, you got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charlie, you, you still done taking it before, shots too. like that downfield. Snap the ball. I'm a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep playing it around. You throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this when size, I lose, this intensity, I usually gets better as the game when goes he on. Is, I, I just tell you from experience. But when he lose, quarters, it's cheap. Oh, you're eager. You come running up Remember there to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Solid gain oh. of 18 and a Raider first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition right. during the season. And that he will get over. into the end zone. It's another <laughs> touchdown. This thing is ugly. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well, I go for it on two after he clinched the game. It's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. They got full momentum going, full confidence going. They are see. not just their own confidence. Heartless. Them. It's a lack of confidence against their opponents now because they it's see they them coming they and are. think. That's what you do to rivals. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And the Colts coming out now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him on second and ten. Rolling out Carr, gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Fuck is this playbook? Oh! Possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Oh, smack that. Here's Fuck Carr. that, Watson. Walking the middle here. That's complete to yeah, Everett, the tight the end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Oh, yeah. Indianapolis moving the chains what there on a gain of 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said Carolina? Here's Carr. Mm -hmm. And his pass is intercepted oh, for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. That one hurt. Oh. There he goes, left side. Oh, 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 Dale Pick, let's go, baby. <laughs> That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them. <laughs> to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Ooh, they now Zerline on to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago. Oh, so they just add on to their big lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the yeah, end zone yeah. for the touchdown. So they'll get another we'll shot on offense that. following that pick six. Mm -hmm. And now the kick is away. Oh. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Well, Dallas is going to be coming into town. He ultimately you know what would have been, and he want to walk in them. And that's the 25-yard uh, you line. Know, coming off a good win. I want to thank the Jaguars organization. They were really, field. really classy with their trash talk today. They lost this one with their struggled. And, Do they um, try to put together something yeah. here at the end just to take it in the two? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. It's okay. One you know, I, I, you know, and we he's going to be out in the game, game like and I'll just pick up another running back. You know, maybe we was going to drop a fish from the cap. Who knows? I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Oh my god, slave master. Picked up by Leighton Vanderesh. And they will finally get him, but not until oh, yeah. he's all the way down. Okay. Okay. 
He's on quite the interception run. He had two last Arkin week, another one here. Remember, he's Arkin not a DB, line. he's a linebacker. Yeah. But how many of those linebackers started yeah. as DBs and pumped themselves up into being linebackers? So the ball skills are the same, right? The coverage skills and responsibilities are the same, and he has paying it off in a big, big way. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them. But all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. He might be the Brooklyn Beach. And he's just rocking it. They got it going today. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And they are going to score mm -hmm. again. Yet another touchdown uh, as they just add to their totals. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Charles, you play to the <laughs> final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score mm -hmm. late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that uh, last score. I struggle with it. Uh, I struggle. But on the other thing, right, you know, they get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know All right, sorry. Excited. I'm getting my niece a kitten. I'm getting, yes, I am. I'm getting her a kitten. Feelings or anything like that. That's just new. No, she, no. It's gonna be a pregnant cat. Matter of fact, you just gonna we gonna wake up and see kittens walking around your shit. I'll find out. You didn't send it. I check my messages. message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Use that as ammunition. Take a great look at that score. Realize how poorly everything went for us. Playing the whole deal. You said what? Because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may go ahead, sir. You do what you got to do. We got, you got, uh, what we got? A couple days. They'll get this one to the Golden Dome of St. Brown. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Yeah, you got a couple of weeks till you come in. Oh, I go out there to you. Okay. Mm. Mm. One final try now for Carr. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. What? Picked off at the 45. And that oh, will be right the finish to this ball game. <laughs> Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were Somebody they clicking on offense? Somebody dropped the running back. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're yeah, moving the ball. Yeah, let me borrow a running back. Most people want to borrow some sugar. They think that they can bottle Make this sure. and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything Ooh. wrong. Whatever you call, run. Go pass, ahead, so I can serve some papers. <laughs> so, for our visitors, so go ahead so I can serve those papers. And now to start this campaign, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for <laughs> I do. it's another week, another loss as they fall now to 0 and 9. And they'll get a chance and you to drop in a player, too. That's called a drop trade. Next week. That's called a drop trade. <laughs> and for Charles Davis, and oh, so if we, if we can discuss Gordon, talk like that, then all right. The oh, man. I don't need a. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm going to come up to Lee. Like, Lee, yeah, I don't need this running back. You don't need drop trades? Yeah. It's in there. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, this it's shit definitely don't in matter, there. Black and white, you know that shit. Trash, he put that bro. in for Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs>